Google has recently released Google Analytics 4 and at the time of this recording you can no longer simply add a small snippet of code to the preference sections at the back end of your Shopify store. Hello guys, I hope everyone is doing well today. We're going to jump right into this beginner's tutorial and walk you through exactly how you can set up Google Analytics on your Shopify store. Now this is a relatively straightforward process that will allow you to measure and record both website and visitor behavior on your Shopify store. Okay guys, now before we get stuck in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to keep you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and install Google Analytics on your Shopify store. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually head over to Google Analytics and sign up now. If you haven't already, sign up to Google Analytics. All you need to do is head over to analytics.google.com and sign up for free. So we're going to go ahead and do that with a fresh account so we can guide you through the process. So with that said, let's head up to set up for free. And what we need to do first is set up an account. So what we're going to do is come over to account name and add our account name. So for us, we're just going to add our website name or business name. So for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is name this account Real Foods, which is the name of the business we're going to use in today's tutorial. So once you've added your account name in here, then what we want to do is navigate down to the bottom and click next. So we've gone ahead and set up our account. Now within our account, we're going to be asked to set up for property. So you can have multiple accounts and properties. So let's pretend that our account is an international business like Real Foods. And let's say we have three cafes located around the world. So I would create three properties within that account for the different websites in the different countries. However, they're all under the same brand, Real Foods which is the name of the account. So again, if I had three cafes in New Zealand, Australia, and Canada, I would have three properties called Real Foods Canada, Real Foods New Zealand, and Real Foods Australia. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we just need one account because we want to connect one property, which is going to be our Shopify store. So what we want to do is come down to property name under create a Google Analytics for property to measure your web and app data. So we're going to go ahead and name this property. And because we only have one business, one website, we're going to name this Real Foods and then come down to reporting time zone. We're going to come down and type in New Zealand as an example, because that's where we're based and that's where we operate. So I'm happy with that. Then come down to currency and select your currency. So again, for us, we're going to click New Zealand, the example we chose. So again, if you're in the US, you would click up here and type in United States, but we're going to select New Zealand. I'm happy with that again. So once you've selected your reporting time zone and the currency for your website, so where your business operates, then come down and click next. And here you can fill out this basic business information. So we're going to come down to industry category and we're just going to come down to food and drinks and we're going to come down to small or the size of our business and we're going to come down here how do you intend to use google analytics with your business so for us we want to come down here and click increase my conversions and then these two up here so you can select any of these options it doesn't really matter you don't have to select any of these if you don't want you can come down and click other if you're not too sure then we want to come down and click create. And before we go ahead and accept Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement, we want to select our location. So again, for us, we're going to go New Zealand. And then we're going to come down here and click I also accept. Then come down here and click I accept again. And then finally, I accept. And just like that. We have gone ahead and created an account and property for our online store for our business. Now we want to come over here and click save. 
we don't worry about any of this and then Google Analytics or the updated version of Google Analytics will ask us to set up a data stream to start collecting data so data stream is new to Google Analytics 4. This name wasn't around in previous versions of Google Analytics but it's essentially the same thing but we want to do is install a piece of code on our Shopify store so we can start recording analytics. Start recording data behavior on our Shopify store and we do that by creating a data stream. So what we want to do now is navigate over the web because we don't want to record information from an Android app or iOS app. We have a Shopify store so we're going to select web setup. And then up here, all we need to do is retrieve our website URL and paste that in here. So what we're going to do is head over to our Shopify store and get our website URL. Then here on our Shopify store, all we need to do is navigate up to our Shopify URL. And then copy this part here, so our domain. Now we don't want to highlight admin, we just want our domain. So for us, that is realfoods.myshopify.com because this is a free account we have not connected a real domain as this is just a tutorial however for you you might have a real domain in here for example for us if we purchased a real domain what we would purchase is realfoods.com however this is just a tutorial so we're going to copy this entire domain here and then what we're going to do is head back to google analytics and then come down to website url and paste from your clipboard your URL. So remember, we don't want www. We just want our domain name. Then we want to come over to stream name again. We're going to name this our business. So real foods and then just like that. All we need to do is come down to create stream. And this is where it gets slightly confusing for most people. But remember, if we can do it, you can do it. We are not a coder, so this is a beginner's tutorial. You should be able to follow the steps and do this yourself. Now, originally what we had to do was copy this little ID up here. And originally we could just copy that and head into our preferences and paste that into the back end of our Shopify store. However, it's not that simple at the moment because of the recent update to Google Analytics 4. Shopify has not updated their back end to allow us to continue using this ID up here. So rather than copying this ID, what we need to do is come down to global site tag, click here, then what we want to do is click this copy to clipboard icon. And what that's going to do is copy this entire code. So make sure you click copy. And then now what we want to do is install this piece of code into our website. Now don't let that scare you not as daunting as it sounds, it's actually quite straightforward and you're not going to damage your website. And if you do, you're going to have a backup. So with that said, let's go ahead and paste this code into our Shopify store. And once that's completed, your Google Analytics and Shopify will now be connected. So what we're going to do now is head back to our Shopify store. Okay, so the code that we've just copied, what we need to do now is head over to online store. All right, now, like I mentioned earlier, what we want to do is take that piece of code that we copied from Google Analytics. And what we want to do is install that piece of code on the back end of our Shopify store. And we do that by navigating over to Actions and coming down and editing our code. However, before we do that, what we want to do is create a backup of our current website. This is in case we do anything wrong and the website crashes, which is highly unlikely if you follow this process step by step. However, it can happen. So what we want to do is take a backup. So if it does crash, we can simply upload that backup site. So to do that, what we want to do is navigate over to actions and then come down to duplicate. And what will happen, Shopify will take a copy of our current team and duplicate it so we can use this later on. If our website crashes, so we have the backup here. I'm happy with that. We have security in place if anything goes wrong, which it won't if you follow this tutorial step by step. But we have a copy down here, a backup of our theme. Now what we want to do is navigate, backup, and click on actions. And then come down to edit code now. Don't be afraid, it's very straightforward to inject this piece of code into the back end of Shopify. So what we want to do is actually navigate over to layout and below layout what we want to do is click theme. 
dot liquid and then you're going to see the theme dot liquid code now what we want to do is actually inject this code below the head so what you can do here is click enter 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 do that at least three times it doesn't really matter then what we're actually gonna do is head up to line four so just below head and then what we're gonna do is just simply paste the code that we copied from Google Analytics so we're going to go ahead and paste this from our clipboard and just like that you can see that our code from Google Analytics has been inserted into our theme.liquid and that is all there is to it now what we want to do is save this so come up to save and click save and as you can see asset has been saved so now what we can do is head back to online store and as you can see it's as simple as that to so install Google Analytics on our Shopify store now what we want to do is navigate over to this icon and I actually view our live website and as you can see this is our live website so we're just going to scroll through it what we're doing now is just essentially sending data to Google Analytics to make sure that the connection is correct to make sure everything is working as it should so I'm just going to navigate through the website remember this is just a plain basic theme we haven't made any modifications except for adding this image here so I can navigate through I can also head over to catalog and scroll down here so now what I want to do is head back to Google Analytics and make sure everything is working from Google Analytics so let's head back to our Google Analytics dashboard and here we are back on Google Analytics where we left off this is where we copied this code now what I'm going to do is exit out of our web stream and then now all we need to do is navigate over to our home button and that's going to take us to our Google Analytics dashboard and as you can see under our account so if I click on real foods you can see that we have our real foods account selected and within that we have our properties which is real food so that is selected if we exit out of that one you can see that we have had one user in the last 30 minutes and as you can see that was myself from New Zealand and just like that you can now see that you have successfully connected Google Analytics for with your Shopify store and it's as simple as that guys so set up and install Google Analytics on your Shopify store now and install Google Analytics on your Shopify store now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through the end if the video helped make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you all in the next video take care guys